come in the morning. In this video, I'm going to be melting some more wax, and probably not in the most safest way, so I don't recommend that anybody else try it like this. And I'm also going to have some experiments involving fire. Though there can be a risk involved, I'm going to try to add in a little humor and find out what kind of wax I really have. Wax is wax. Oh, that is where you are wrong. Wax is not just wax. It's splitting time. Mark my words, Francois. Sinister forces are at work. Mm, sorry about this. Lighting isn't the best. But I'm going to melt some wax on the stove. Oh, I got the wax all melted now. We'll take it outside and dump it on the fire. So I got the fire going. Melted wax. It's just melted. It's probably around 150 degrees. And throw it on the fire here and see what happens. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Try a little of this on here and see what happens. Hmm. Olive oil. And we also got to try a little bit of gas. Just a dab. A couple of drops of it. The wax solidified on the brick. I'll bring this a little closer. I'm not going to just dump it down there. The wax kind of solidified on the brick. Gas. Hmm. And this is olive oil. Flares up, but not nowhere near like the gas. Hmm, interesting. And we'll also try a little more wax. Get the fire going better. As long as I hit the flames, otherwise it solidifies on the bricks. That was all that was in there. Funny that doesn't melt. It's melted there, but it's not. It's So vapors it got to burn, not the liquid. Same with the gas too, it needs to be the vapors. But this vaporizes so much faster. Making pollution here. Yeah, this is plain, I suppose. And we'll try that again. And this time we're going to heat it up to the flash point. That flash point of this melted wax is somewhere around 400 degrees. I'll test it right now. Let's see if we can see that. Just about 300. Starting to smoke a little bit. She's smoking pretty good now. I opened the door a little bit. Got a fire extinguisher handy. And I think we're getting pretty close. Get this 
300 let's see 370 let's see if I can get the light there yeah we're getting up there we got an open flame right underneath this this is a gas stove this isn't the best way to do it wouldn't recommend it we'll get it up to that flash point I'm gonna take it outside throw it at the fire and see what happens Flash point could be even 390. Let's see what we got there. And we are just about there. I think we're right at the flash point now. Time to take it outside and see what happens. Get the, here's the fire going. Get the camera out here. I'll keep it back about that far. Got my safety glasses on, leather gloves, and that's what happened. Hmm. Got the fire going a bit better. Well, it did flare up more, but with the way that wax was heated up, up to its flash point, I thought for sure it was going to flare up quite a bit more than what it did. It must be because the molecules of the wax are heavier and they're not breaking apart and mixing with the oxygen that goes in the air. It's kind of similar, I think, to like if I would have thrown hot bacon grease on the fire. So why do experiments like this? Well, it removes speculation, and you can learn by first-hand experience of what actually does happen. It can verify what you thought was going to happen, or you might even be corrected on what you thought was going to happen, because what you thought was going to happen was completely wrong. And you know, the experiment might not have any use to you at all, or it's something you can build off of in the future. And it's really just that simple to confirm, you know, what actually happens. I've been having some fun making this video, but in all seriousness, if you're going to be handling materials like this or doing something similar with fire, you really need to be careful and responsible because getting burned is horrible. It's very painful. I've been burned before. It's very painful and it takes a long time to heal up. So really keep safety in mind. And this will be the end of this video. And I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas.